join us in building a more fair and transparent future, visit ParticiaBlockchain.com today. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. If you think about it, we've been sending emails and collaborating online in pretty standard ways since the invention of the internet. We send things out and wonder and wait for a response. Not a lot of innovation. Well, things are changing. Thanks to blockchain, business processes are taking a quantum leap forward. Today, we welcome the founder of the world's first blockchain-based business platform, for smart document and contract management that is taking the world by storm. Welcome, Chao Cheng Shoreland, originally from Australia, now based in the US and here in Paris today for the Female Founders Challenge at VivaTech to pitch this project that she's dedicated the past six years building. Chao, to start with, can you tell us a bit more about the problems you were trying to solve? If you send an email out, the attachment, and you don't know who actually has read this, who has forwarded your email, who has actually downloaded your attachment, and you can never take that back, even if it falls into the wrong hands. Now, so many people work remotely, and they require a lot of virtual um, you know, negotiation to get a contract signed. So for example, in the litigation area, people still spend like a half year to just do one deal. So that's what you know, the, the problems really the shelters is trying to solve how blockchain technology and in particular tokenization are core to your solution? Shelter Zone's uh, fundamental architecture is really document tokenization. What's the benefit? The first is security. As you know, blockchain provides much better security than the traditional centralized um, the, uh, infrastructure. Second one is auditability and um, accountability. So through the, uh, the tokenization, there's a token ID attached to every document. And when it actually travels through the network, you can always trace that. Then the third one is about ownership and, uh, and control. On internet, if you send an email out, you have no control over that anymore. Anyone can download, anyone can copy. And a lot of times involve people's confidential information, involves business secret, IP. So with our technology, you can revoke people's access. You can stop people from downloading and sharing. So as the content writer or as the creator of those IPs, you truly now have full control over your documents. And then the last one is about monetization. So in terms of the, the uh, document tokenization, those documents no longer just document or smart document. So it can be actually transformed into digital asset. Can you tell us now a bit more about how you're using this technology with the Vatican? We have a partnership with the Pontifical Orientale uh, Institute to uh, archive uh, Vatican uh, archives and manuscripts. So through the tokenization technology, and the Vatican can now have full control over those um, tokenized uh, manuscripts. Can you tell us now um, what it's like being a female founder, some of the challenges that you have faced, and what inspired you to get started on this journey? I actually started this journey uh, six years ago and I founded uh, Shoutism five years ago. And then now we build up a very substantial team and uh, operating in five continents. And very recently, we just delivered a very transformational product. It's already available on the Google Chrome Store. And anyone can just go in and download and immediately tokenize their email attachments. I just want to really keep pushing for the innovation and really solving major problems for businesses, for any organizations, and even individuals in the world. What is your message to women who might not be sure whether or not they want to take the plunge and start a company? Believe in yourself. And if you believe in yourself, you will find the road is much broader for you. And I actually heard uh, one of the um, um, award winner, he said, the first half of my life, I want to be successful. The second half of my life, I want to be significant. And I always remember that. And I really want other female um, colleagues or friends to take this and really give yourself a challenge. Thank you so much, Chao Cheng Shoreland, for decrypting how blockchain is now simplifying and improving things we do every day. And join us next week when we will take a closer look at blockchain project accelerators to solve United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Thanks for watching, everyone. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.